How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode 67 of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. Just hanging out around the zombie grinder, getting a little bit of XP. Uh, not a whole lot, just a little bit, because I was in the area. And the reason I was in the area is because I've been adding some, uh, some extra rail onto our rail system. So now, our rail system comes all the way out to the zombie grinder, instead of just stopping uh, close to the, uh, the secondary base in the hills there. So let's go ahead and get on this minecart and take a ride back to our second base, and I'll show you what else I've been doing this episode. So hopefully you guys liked the 12W27A videos. Uh, I did a lot of different tests and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys found those useful. I actually found that the uh, the nether wart growth rate is actually the same after doing some additional testing. So some of you might be wondering why I took that down. That's the reason. But the XP or test uh, still still stands. So yeah, we're coming back to our second base here. Looks like I could do some aesthetic work here. But you'll see I added a minecart station uh, just down down the hill from this. So we'll just uh, get off and take a look at this. So, so yeah, here it is. Uh, getting a bit of lag here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was strange. All right. So yeah, here's what the uh, the thing looks like. Our train station, our minecart station here. I uh, went ahead and could probably use some dark wood around the sides here in the front. But from this side, I think it looks pretty good with the, uh, the dark wood and the light wood in contrast to each other. And if you go inside, there's actually an upper part too. So we came up from this minecart down here. And we got like a little glass area here so we can look down onto our our minecart station and I particularly like this roof I got sort of like cross beams coming in here sort of like uh, like a like a wood cabin type feel and then the roof goes up so there's like extra space behind them so I, I like the roof and then from here we have these these steps lead down I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put here but I'm sure I'll think of something eventually so yeah this is our new our new uh, minecart station over here close to our secondary base and this this place actually needs a little bit of work too so I might do a little bit of work on it for for next episode or in the future but yeah we got a great view from up here you can see the bridge we came over right there the uh, the rail bridge so I think that looks pretty cool I added columns so that it looks a little bit more realistic but yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at now, so that's one of the changes with that minecart station. And we'll just come back down here, and we will get in this minecart, and we will go off uh, in the other direction to our base. And you guys probably will recognize that as the, uh, the first minecart station I made, I think back in episode 49 or so. And it didn't really fit at that time for the main station. Uh, but, eh, hello slime, okay. But I think it fits there pretty well, so I'm going to keep it like that. And hopefully we can get a boost down here, there we go, nice. So yeah guys, uh, I've been also watching a few videos on uh, the latest update. And pistons, uh, their timings have changed. And it's got me a little bit concerned that, uh, a lot of stuff will break. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of strange. They're actually uh, the thing that starts my elevator. I know is broken because I saw somebody do a video on it on that exact thing, and it doesn't work anymore. It's it's a subtle change, like a half tick change to the uh, the delay of redstone due to the fact that they want to prevent sand generators. But it's really going to mess up a lot of redstone stuff. So. I was kind of disappointed at that. I didn't really think it was necessary to uh, to do it that way, but uh, what are you going to do? So we'll just have to deal with that when it comes. But other than that, though, a lot of cool stuff in the update. Uh, stackable signs, fantastic. And, of course, the, uh, the XP ore mining and things like that. And if you guys don't know, uh, August 1st is the planned release date 
tentatively planned release date and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get it on that date and it'll be awesome so I've been doing a little bit of work uh, around here mostly just farming to be honest with you uh, cutting down trees gathering some reeds back here and speaking of reeds I probably should get some yeah yeah I definitely should get some here yeah, and haven't quite grown yet because I uh, harvested them just a while ago looks like it's getting dark so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and I'm gonna have a sleep and I'll be back in the morning okay everybody it's the next day let's go ahead and see what else I have changed and as I said didn't have a whole lot of time but I did do some improvements in the cake room and the room below that because they were kinda empty and definitely needed some uh, some content in them so that's exactly what I did so here we go uh, down here in the cake room uh, one of the changes put a giant cake uh, message across here now reads cake in nether rack with the back uh, backdrop of the oak planks and let's see what else we got we got our I moved our cake appreciation area you remember last time the cake photo cake painting was over there so now I move this painting to here and we got this nice wraparound couch so we can just sit on here just appreciate the cake just admire it and then eat some if we ever get hungry so that's our cake appreciation area and our uh, wraparound couch here then I went ahead and made a pool table that's what this is supposed to be got a light pool table light above here I'm probably going to change these fence posts to some of the iron bars. I think that just look cooler. But yeah, here's our, our pool table. These are just trap doors on the side here. Let's see what else we got. We got our chandelier type thing made with redstone lamps. And that's just to provide some light around here. Uh, the lighting was actually sort of tricky. I had to use some pumpkins on the side of the room. But we also have some video game machines. And if you hit this, the redstone lights up. It's supposed to be like a uh, pinball machine type thing. So it's sort of like a game room slash cake room now. All right, everybody. One last look at the cake room slash game room before we go down to the next room. And the next room is what I've made into a bar slash lounge area. So let's take a look at this. So here's the bar area. Get to that in a second. And then this is going to be like the uh, the lounge area. So, you know, you can come down here, get some food or a drink at the bar. Sit back and, of course, relax. Watch some TV. We got a big screen TV here. And then in these trees of the mosaic, we got some smaller TVs there and there. So TVs in the trees. That's when you know it's nice. It's a nice place. So what I was trying to go for with the, uh, the images you see on the walls... Is sort of a mosaic of what a cross section of the Minecraft world looks like. So you see, we got like the stone, the dirt, and it transitions uh, from uh, what appears to be like a plain or hills biome into the taiga biome with the snow here. A little bit of snow there. And of course, in the, in the taiga, you have spruce wood trees. So we got those. Got those going on. And of course, the sun there. And the pink wool is supposed to represent like a pig. So that's what that is. And then of course the clouds and things. And I sort of like it. It sort of gives like a like an outdoorsy vibe to it. So you're it's sort of like you're on the surface but not really. And it's a lot better than just playing cave. So that's what I did with that. And then of course we have some places for people to come and sit down. Tables in the middle here. Sit down, watch TV, whatever. Over here is the bar area. You'll see this thing here. Uh, it's like a ventilation system. So it takes all the fumes from the, uh, the, oven, the ovens or the furnaces. Whatever the case may be. Whatever you want to call them. And takes them up to the surface. And let's see. We got a uh, trap door here is how you get in. Got some faucets. Turn it on and off, so to speak. Some potions. Some brewing stands back here. So you can brew some stuff up, cook some meat in here, 
And then we have two working refrigerators right here. I'll get to those in just a second. And of course we have some crafting tables and a table where you can just set stuff on. Stuff like this. The bar is right here. This area here. And you got some bar stools here in the form of these, uh, these half slabs. So let me show you these refrigerators. These are pretty cool. Uh, this one on the left here distributes meats and breads. And this one on the right here distributes potions and drinks, I guess, if you want to call them that. So uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's just go ahead and get some meat or some bread here. See some bread, bread, and there's some steak came out that time. And so how this works is we got some steak and some bread in there. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, whoops, don't want the pickaxe in there. So that's how that works. And then over here, see if we open this. Got some potions here. And get some more potions. Let's see if I can grab this. Ah, come on. There we go. See some different potions in there. Regeneration, instant health, just some water, swiftness, and another potion of regeneration here. So those are the uh, the dual refrigerators. And let me just show you the... Uh, well, you guys probably figure out the wiring behind that. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, it's different and new this episode. So let me drink this speed potion and we will go down to the mine. Uh, this area remains pretty much the same. Let's head down to the mine shaft and we'll see what today's highlighted channel is. So since I have this speed potion on, it shouldn't take too long. So let's get down here. I think I still need to craft up a sign or two. Alright, here we go. Cool. So let me just... Uh, Grab a few wooden planks, make a sign. All right, cool. And I also need to go and get my fortune pick, I just realized, so I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so today's highlighted channel is Jack Mori. So I couldn't find a channel for Jack Mori, but he has been an ardent supporter of mine for quite some time. So thank you very much for your support, and let's see how you do against the other competitors. All right, everybody, just got done digging out Jack Mori's mine shaft, and unfortunately, we didn't get any diamonds, so he does not make the top list for the Fortune 3 pick. However, he will be immortalized in the mine shaft, so that's always a plus. And guys, I think that's all I got for you this episode. Next episode, we'll do something cool out in the taiga biome. Uh, I got a design I'm going to put near the zombie grinder that should be pretty cool and should help us out greatly once 1.3 comes out. So until then, guys, thank you all for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.